here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, you are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Scorpies, this is my series called Confessions. So this is uh, whoever comes to your mind during this reading, whoever you have had on your heart. Um, this is who I am speaking about. This is what this person wants to tell you or is too afraid to tell you or they could be coming towards you to tell you. Someone wants to confess some fans to you. So Scorpies, as you can see, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And let's just jump in, man. Let's jump in. So, we have here, victory in reverse, mm. clarified by eight of swords in reverse, the emperor in reverse, ten of wands in reverse, and the empress, Scorpio, this is you, baby, this is you. Okay, so... Somebody is depressed, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're like depressed, depressed, right? Somebody could be going into severe depression or they are already in it. Uh, somebody is drinking a lot. Somebody keeps going to um, weed dispensaries. They're buying a lot. They're smoking a lot of weed too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, if they could get a membership to a weed dispensary, they damn well would. That's what's up right now with somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a box of, um, what is it, Backwoods, Century Sam. Someone buys them, like, in packs, and they buy, like, two, three packs at a time. Like, bro, slow it down. Or, sis, slow it down. But it's because they're depressed, and they're trying to numb the pain. Somebody is depressed because they didn't have victory with you. Mm-hmm. Things did not work out between you two. <laughs> this person, though, they want to... Inside, they know that you are... You the shit. <laughs> Scorpio, you're the shit. I'm picking up two stories here. There is a group of you Scorpios where someone's depressed because you're the shit and they know it. Mm-hmm. Somebody else is depressed because they just realized that you're the shit. Mm -hmm. Somebody sees you as unique, uh, an individual, you're your own person. You don't take shit from anybody and you don't have a problem using your sword to cut a motherfucker out of your life. Mm -hmm. They see you as a good person. This person wants to confess to you that they know that you're good peoples. Mm -hmm. They know that you are on top of your game. They know that you are special, that you are different. This person knows that you are cut from a different cloth. Mm -hmm, baby. Mm -hmm. This person also sees you as someone who is uh, someone of an upright person. You're a person of integrity. You do the right thing regardless if someone's watching or not. Regardless if someone tells you to do it or not, you're going to do what's re what's best for you and you're going to do the right thing. Scorpio, somebody is, uh, they want to confess to you that they are depressed because you know your power mm -hmm. and you know your worth and you know your value and you did not second guess yourself to walk away from them. I'm hearing this time. Mm -hmm. Somebody is also... Uh, Someone's upset because you you have other options, right? But the thing is, you are picking your... I'm seeing what I'm seeing right now in my third eye is someone who has a garden and they have all these beautiful flowers, but they're very, very careful about the flower that they pick. Uh-huh. They're not just going for any flower because it looks good on the outside now. They're going for what they need, what they want. Yes? They're, they're picking the right one for them. Mm -hmm. Something that they can nurture and take care of. Something that's going to appreciate uh, the work that they put in. Mm -hmm. This person is upset, uh, Scorpio, because they know that you, you're you not investing in them anymore. Because you know your worth and you know that you're different. You damn well know you cut from a different class, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know you're a good person and you know you deserve the best. A lot of you too, this person, 
when I say that they realize that you are different, I mean like different, different. Some of you, you're high priestesses. Um, you could be psychics. You could be tarot readers. Uh, you're, a lot of you are empaths, light workers. This person sees that about you. They see the light within you. They see that you have changed. You may have been complete. You're completely different from how you used to be when you were with them. They've seen your transformation. I feel like somebody is sad and somebody is, it's not that they're salty. It's, it's like they envy the fact that you can just transform like that, right? Because there's, they've been here stuck, stale, stagnant, depressed as shit. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to confess to you, Scorpio, that you the shit. Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. Someone also wants to confess to you that they made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They made a mistake by not putting in uh, the work in the relationship with you. Not putting in, not investing in you the way they, they were supposed to. This person, they show up as the emperor in reverse. Scorpio. So this is somebody who they damn well know that they were fucking immature. Yes. They know that the things that they were doing was just like, what are you on? Right. They knew they didn't know if they were coming or going. I feel for some of you Scorpios, you were dealing with someone who put on this front like they had their shit together. But in reality, underneath the surface, nothing not going for them. OK. In other words, they did not. Right. It was a front. This person could have been very, very petty. Mm -hmm. And Scorpios. You don't like petty. <laughs> Scorpios, you don't do petty. No. Mm -mm. You don't have time for that. You don't have the patience for that. This person also wants to confess to you that they were weak, weak in character. Some of you were dealing with someone who was easily tempted, easily seduced. Mm -hmm. And they put on this front that they wanted to be committed. They wanted to be in a secure, stable relationship with you. But really underneath the surface, they were a fuck boy or a fuck girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Scorpio, someone wants to confess to you that you make them feel weak. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. You make them feel like they're not good enough. But it's not anything that you do. It's just how you are. I, like I said, your aura, Scorpio, your energy, it's very, very powerful. You don't even have to do anything, right? And it's like it intimidates people, especially people that vibrate at a low. Their vibration is very low. They don't know what to do with your ass. No, because they can't get a hold on you. They can't control you. They can't manipulate you, right? And even if they do, it does not last long because you, you figure shit out like that. Remember, you are very, very intuitive. You see what's going to happen like 10 steps ahead of the game. You already done peep game with them. You already know what they're going to do before they do it. This person, you make them feel weak because they don't know how to pull the wool over your eyes anymore. Mm-hmm. They can't keep you in a state of illusion anymore. Yeah. This person wants to confess to you, though, that they want to do the right thing with you. Now they want to build with you. Mm -hmm. But they also see that you're focusing on yourself. Yeah. Self-love is the best love, baby. They see that you are, uh, you're focusing on doing the right things for yourself, building up yourself, being the best version of yourself. Now this person wants to come in with all of that now. <laughs> for some of you, I do feel like this person is being divinely guided. Mm -hmm. They are watching you as you are divinely guided to build stability and security, uh, happiness and abundance in all areas of your life. For some of you, this person is watching you as you step into your purpose. Mm-hmm. But this person wants to come in. Yeah, they do. They want to make things better. But they are still in this immature energy. And the things that they do is not effective. Right? So you could be dealing with somebody who says one thing but does something else. Why? Because their character is weak as shit. This person also wants to confess to you, Scorpio, that they know that they weren't putting in, uh, they weren't putting in the work. And I know I keep repeating that, but I feel like spirit really wants you to hear this. This person knows that they were not putting in any effort, the right amount of effort in the relationship to get it to where it was supposed to go. Mm -hmm. This person knows they brought a lot of difficulties into your life. This person wants to confess to you that they deceived you. 
And I feel like it's a deception in, like I said, they came to you like they were ready for one thing, but in reality, they weren't ready for shit. They weren't even ready for life for themselves. Mm -hmm. This is Ten of Wands in reverse. This person wants to confess to you that they know they weren't kind to you, but they have inner child issues. Mm -hmm. But they want a new beginning with you. Mm -hmm. Someone has a lot of issues. Some of you, th this person is dealing with um, regret, regret, rejection, loneliness, self-worth. Self-worth is a big one. This person does not feel uh, like they are worthy of your love because they did not show you love the right way. This person knows that they did not give to you uh, in equal measure. They know that they would just take and take and take and stand back, right? And let you just keep giving mm -hmm. while they're coming there with their basket for you to fill. This person fucking knows that they weren't kind to you. Mm -hmm. This person, for some of you, if you have a child or children with this person, they know they, they did not step up to the plate in terms of being a good parent, the right parent, just being there. Mm -hmm. They know that. But they want a new beginning with you. Yes, they do. <laughs> this person's unbelievable. <laughs> Scorpio, how wet they rust. This person is unbelievable. Like their energy is just making me shake my head. Are you serious right now? You know that you weren't doing shit and you want a new passionate new beginning, like how it was in the beginning when you just met. Are you are you kidding me right now? You know that you weren't doing shit. Some of you, you are with someone you have a child with. And when I said they did the bare minimum, they might as well have did nothing at all. Because they knew that what they were doing wasn't even fucking helping you. Mm-hmm. Scorpio, this person wants to confess to you that they know the OAS is the empress and you're on your shit. They see you on your glow up. They're watching you. Yes. They also, they are salty. And they are depressed because they see that you don't want their ass no more. They see you have no desire for them. You're not mentally, emotionally, physically focused on them. And when I say their confidence has gone down, it's gone down. Mm -hmm. This person, they feel like nothing. They feel like shit. They have no confidence in themselves. Uh, they feel like they, when it comes to you, they can't get anything right. Mm -hmm. Like they're just doing the wrong things all the time. But that's on them. How are you going to show up to an empress and emperor in reverse energy? Are you out your damn mind? You're not ready. They have the potential to be ready, but they're not. They're not on their job, right? This person could have been your match. For some of you, you are dealing with a divine masculine here or a divine feminine. But they're not there yet, right? They have not stepped into their divinity yet. They're still very immature. But this person knows. Uh -huh. I just heard someone say, I know that you're better than me. And, and it's said with such sadness too. Like I feel this person's, I want to cry. <laughs> right? And it's not cry for this person. It's just, they suck. <laughs> Scorpio, this person sucks. And they know they suck. But they are really hurting right now. For some of you, this is deep down in someone's subconscious. This is how they feel. They would love to tell you these things, but they're too afraid. They know that you have absolutely no desire for them anymore. And when I say that, this just, ooh, right? <laughs> it made their confidence go down. Like Scorpio doesn't want me anymore. Scorpio's not focused on me anymore. This person wants to just vaporize. They want to just disappear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah this person wants to confess to you that things are not going right in their life, Scorpio. Ever since you decided to boss the fuck up and step out of their life, things have not been going good for them. Mm -hmm. They haven't been able to master anything. The things that they try, just that's all it is. They're trying. They're not getting anything. They're not doing anything. They're not getting anything done. They're just trying things, right? But nothing is happening for them. There's no abundance with them. Mm -hmm. And they feel like it's because you're not in their life. I do feel this very codependent energy, though, Scorpio. This uh, energy you are dealing with is very, very dependent on you. Mm -hmm. 
you to put the time, energy, effort into the relationship, you to put time, energy, and effort into them. They were very, very dependent. They were thriving off of that. When you were doing all that, this person was confident as shit, right? Big dog on campus. But now that you said no, uh, no nah, nigga, uh, or bye Felicia, mm -hmm. this person is lost. Yeah. And I just feel somebody who has like very low self-esteem. They feel like they can't do anything right. They feel like things in their life are just not going to get. This person is very pessimistic. Mm -hmm. They're very negative as well. This is the person, this is someone who will jump to the worst case scenario, right? They don't even try to find any other scenarios in between. It's just, oh, everything's gone to shit. The world's gone to hell in a handbasket. That's how this person is. But somebody is very, very depressed, Scorpio, because you left their ass. Mm -hmm. And you bossed up mentally, emotionally, physically. Scorpio, this person knows that you know who you are, right? This person also knows that you released them from your heart, from your soul, from your mind. Now, even if this is a divine masculine, you will always have that connection, right? But Scorpio, you know what I feel with you? For some of you in this collective who are dealing with a divine counterpart, you decided to love yourself more than you love them. You decided to choose yourself 150%. And it made this person depressed. Mm -hmm. Because they realized that they can't feed off of your energy anymore. They can't take your love for granted anymore. Mm -hmm. They can't be reckless and careless with you anymore. Somebody realizes that they can't juggle you anymore and they sad, sad. Mm -hmm. They big sad. Now I feel Scorpios, this person wants to confess to you that they did want, they wanted a family. Mm -hmm. They wanted to do the right thing with you, but they just didn't know how, right? Still very, very immature. I'm surprised a page did not show up here. Mm -hmm. This person is also afraid of commitment. They didn't want to confess that to you, but they are. <laughs> I just bust their secret. Yes. Now, this is someone who doesn't like to be alone, but they are a commitment phobe. So even though they may have said that they wanted a certain uh, outcome with you, they knew that they weren't putting in the work to uh, create that, to manifest that with you. Hmm. But someone sees you, Scorpio, that you are on your glow up. Mm -hmm. And you are blowing, Scorpio, you're an empress energy, right? Like, holy, oh my goodness, right? Some of you, you are business owners, uh, started, your entrepreneurs. You could have a child or children with this person, but you are, I, I'm talking to some divine feminines here, man. I'm talking to some divine feminines. You're on your shit. You know who you are and you know what you're supposed to be doing and you're doing it. Mm -hmm. you're sitting on your throne and like I said you're not getting off of it not for anybody not even for your divine motherfucking masculine no you're not because you have shit to do mm -hmm. you know that you're different you know that you're special you know that you deserve good things in your life and that's what you are on you also know that you don't need to sit around and wait for anybody and that's another thing that's making this person depressed they know that <laughs> when you are ready you're going to be with someone because you want to be with someone. Not because you're lonely. Mm -hmm. Not because you feel like you need to have someone in your life. Not because you feel like you need a place filler mm -hmm, or a spot filler. No. When you decide to allow someone to share your world that you are creating with you. When you allow someone to um, benefit from the empire that you are creating for yourself, it's going to be because you desire this person. It's going to be because this person is ready for someone like you, Scorpio. And this person knows that. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to say they're sorry as well. Mm -hmm. This person is very, very depressed. Some of you, you may hear that this person tried to hurt themselves. Someone is contemplating doing some kind of self-harm. Someone cuts themselves because they feel numb. Mm -hmm. And it's because you're not in their life. Someone does have suicidal thoughts. Yes. And it's because they know that they lost you. They lost you for good. 
And they know that it's all their fault. Mm -hmm. Scorpio, someone was really not nice to you. And they took advantage of your kindness. Some of you were dealing with somebody who uh, you would help them out. And when you turned around and asked them for help, they were like, no. Or they want you to jump through fire burning hoops to get a little bit of help from them. You could, like I said, you could have a child or children with this person. But you done bossed the fuck up and you said, you know what? I don't need you. I need me. Scorpio, this person sees that you can do good all by your damn self and you don't need them. Mm -hmm. And that's what's hurting them and burning them even more. Oh my. Scorpio, I'm just going to pull uh, some guidance from Spirit. Some guidance and advice. This is the Whispers from Within Oracle deck. Let's see what Spirit has to say to you, Spirit. I'm Spirit. <laughs> spirit, what messages or guidance, what advice and guidance do you have for the Scorpio Collective? What advice and guidance do you have for the Scorpio Collective? Thank you, Spirit, for your clear and concise messages. I'm here, and I understand them. Oh, my goodness. Be kind to yourself. Mm-hmm. Do the best you can today while honoring the progress you've made. Scorpio, do I need to read that again? Do the best you can today while honoring the progress you've made so far. Scorpio, you think it was a simple thing where you got to how you got to where you are? No, it wasn't. You had to work damn hard to get here. That's why I said you're not stepping off of your throne for anyone. You don't give a fuck who it is. You have to, they have to put the work in to be with you now. Spirit wants you to be proud of yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing that Drake song. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. Use the lessons from a situation as opportunities to improve. What did you learn from this situation with this person? What did you learn from this experience? Some of you, yes, you were with your uh, divine counterpart, but you were in a karmic cycle with them. And it was to teach you that you don't need anybody. You need yourself. Mm -hmm. that you can boss up all on your own. And as a matter of fact, you should be focusing on prioritizing yourself first. Always give to yourself first. Be kind to yourself first. Mm -hmm. Reevaluate and manage your expectations of yourself and of others today. Scorpio, you know what? I feel like spirit is telling you to um, not to have expectations, but have intentions. Set your intentions. Do your part and allow the universe to do the rest. Um, not to put too much pressure on yourself to attain something or to get a certain outcome. Allow the magic of the universe to work in your life. Allow room for miracles to happen. Mm -hmm. Manage uh, the things that you want in your life in a way that it's balanced, right? Allow yourself time and space to heal. And I do feel like that you're going through that right now, Scorpios. A lot of you, you're in this uh, space where you have uh, consciously, wholeheartedly decided to be fucking single. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter if you let go of your divine counterpart or you let go of a soulmate. You're doing this for your own uh, betterment, your own well-being, your own peace of mind, peace of soul, your own stability, and your own security. Spirit is saying to continue to allow yourself time and space to heal. This time that's happening right now, you need this. Okay? Take it and run with it. Acknowledge the validity of your feelings today. Scorpio. A lot of you are in this energy right now where you boss the fuck up. And if, like I said, if anyone wants to be with you, they have to put in the motherfucking work. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to acknowledge and be okay with feeling like that. Don't feel guilty. Oh, they're my soulmate. Oh, they're, they're my divine counterpart. Okay, yeah, they are. But so? So what? At the end of the day, you have to make sure that you're Gucci, baby. Okay? Because you can't do anything for anyone until you can do it for yourself. You can't help anyone until you can help yourself. And Scorpios, I really feel like you're starting to understand that, understand that. Spirit wants you to acknowledge your feelings. They are valid. They are very, very strong indicators of what's working for you and what's not. And I feel this energy within you, Scorpio, that you know you made the right choice. You made the right decision for yourself. And you're standing in your power. Mm -hmm. Good for you, Scorpies. Good for you. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. If any of this resonates, smash that like button for me. If not, that's cool. Another time. Also, feel free to uh, check out the information in my description box. I offer personal readings. I have my online merch store. Uh, I have my live tarot line if you're looking for a tarot reading over the phone. I'm here for you, baby. 
or if you are looking for some intuitive counseling sessions, you know, dealing with inner child wounds, dealing with uh, emotional trauma, I am here for that as well. So Scorpios, take a look around. You never know, you may just find what you're looking for. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful, strong as Empress Emperor, upright energy on the flip side. Bye.